One of the most funny stupid statements in the Quran, just to show you when the Muslim they say to you, oh, we can explain the Quran so easy. Yasin. Okay, Muslims, who are going to explain to us Yasin? Yasin. What is that? What is Ya and what is Sin? They don't know. They have no idea. The only one have the answer is a Christian prince. This is two words. Ya, which is a word mean God. Sin is the moon god. The moon god swear by the Quran. Prove me wrong. Even in the Islamic interpretation, they agree that Yasin is a Syriac word. Syriac, you know Syriac? Aramaic. And you will see every single Abdul in the world, he give you different interpretation for the verse. This is how much he cleared the Quran. The only thing the Muslims agree is not to agree about the meaning of any verse. This is the only agreement. Brother and sister, we agree about that to agree about the meaning of the verse. This is the only agreement they have. They agree about not to agree. Look at the interpretation of the verse. Tafsir al Jalalain. Ya seen Allah knows best what he meant by those letters. Why? Because this is not Arabic. They have no idea. Allah knows best. And the guy he just told us, Quran is so clear, we can explain it so easy. Allah knows best. Let us change the interpretation. Go to Ibn Abbas as an example. Uh oh. Uh oh. Does it say Syriac language? Does it say that this is a Syriac language? So what is the pure Arabic? This is a pure Arabic, we make it clear. And why Allah using Syriac language for the Arab? Isn't it Allah, he said, we will never send the book except in their language, in their tongue, so they might understand? Is Allah short of words? So he's borrowing from the Arabic? See, even the Muslims, they acknowledge that this is not Arabic. So when the Quran says this is a pure Arabic, it is a joke. It is a stupid. And the funny, it says, in order to make things clear for them, brother. Sin is the moon god. In English today, actually, they say this is sin. Why? Because this is what the pagan used to practice. They worship the god sin. So when those people, they left the paganism and they became a Christian, they say, this is sin. Don't do that. This is sin. Why? This is belong to the, 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 the God of the pagan. And your God, Allah praising him. Calling him God, sin. Yah is a word mean God. Sin is the name of the God. Let us go to Google. Hold on. Prophet Google, peace upon him. Guys, read with me carefully. Sin is an Akkadian god, Sumerian Nana, from the religion, the god of the moon. Sin was the father of the sun god, Shamash, which is, we say in Arabic, we say Shams. So you see? And the Quran used the same word. Why well, you are using the same word to call a star when you are supposedly fighting the paganism is using the same word shamash do you see it so what is sin sin is the moon god yah is a word mean god somebody saying to me truth with the proof how can you lie uh, is that the christianity but thank you very much truth with the proof just to show you how intelligent those who follow Muhammad. Look at this comment of this Abdul. I'm telling you, that those, the followers of Muhammad, they are super intelligent. How can you lie? Is that a Christian? You just, you just agree the Christian, you don't teach lie. So we do not need Muhammad. That's why Muhammad is a fraud. Because it is the Quran who teach to lie. Isn't it the Quran says, Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath? You, not only you can lie, you can take a false oath 
lying and Allah will not take you accountable while Jesus says either you say yay yay or nay nay and anything else from the devil which means you do not need to take an oath as a Christian because always you have to say the truth those who lie 24 hours they say okay I'm going to take an oath to save myself from being accused of a liar but Allah he said Allah will not take you will not call you for account of a thoughtless of your oath have you ever heard of a devilish teaching like this you can take an oath and this oath is not true who said that Allah you can swear by Allah lying and the excuse is you don't mean it I don't mean it I took an oath I don't mean it all the all the false oath I don't mean them <laughs> you know what I mean this is why it's called false oath because I don't mean it so Allah will not take you accountable for an oath you took and you don't mean it I don't mean to be truthful I'm going to take an oath <laughs> So when you when a Muslim he try to answer us and I mean it is horrible, they are like the same as their prophet. Anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we have a good time. Muslims are upset as you see the chat of the Muslims. They are calling me names, no problem. All those are blessing for me. We love the Muslims. We don't hate them, and we are not making fun of you. We are making fun of a stupid God, who is fake. So brother and sisters. Uh, uh, hold on, I'm talking to uh, Muslims now. Brother Fitter, Christian Prince, he don't have any legitimate agreement. And whole is the question is refuted. If you read my book, it's called Allah knows best. Explain everything. Ask any question. The answer is Allah knows best. Uh, so the answer for any question is Allah knows best. Exactly. And this is supposedly how you refute us. Exactly. Who would know better than Allah? Uh, but what is the answer? Allah knows best. I told you. I give you the answer. What's wrong with you? So the answer for any question, Allah knows best. Exactly. And now you, you, we are refuted. Exactly. So now we cannot, there's nothing to debate about. Exactly. Exactly. I just know that you get approved. And now you are getting smarter. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah, He is guiding you. Uh, so, uh, 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 Zakia, but can we ask the question and then you give me the answer, Allah knows best, or we can't even ask the question. Christopher Brett, I'm going to the Quran, chapter 5, verse 101, it said, ask not question. What? Ask not question. So how you say the answers for all the questions in your book, but we cannot ask the questions? Christopher Brett, you are not only stupid, you are ignorant. Allah, he forbid you from asking question that makes sense. A question makes sense, you are welcome. Okay. Who is Yasin? That's a question that makes sense. Okay. Uh, uh, why we beat our wife? That, that will make her love us? That's a question that makes sense. Uh, okay, so those questions we can... Okay, why Allah don't remember which one he created first, the trees or the mountains in different verses? That's a question that makes sense. So, uh, so what is the question makes sense as I can uh, add an example ask me a question would make sense can I eat ice cream with my fancy oh that is a question makes sense exactly there's the question are legitimate and there's the question are not legitimate hmm. those are the questions which makes sense if I can I eat ice cream with my fancy there's another example about a question makes sense. There's many question. Add an example. Add me question. But you just said, ask not questions because this is haram. Exactly. So you can ask a question as long as you don't ask it. Put it in the basket. Okay. So ask not questions about things made to plain for you because it may cause you trouble, brother. Okay. But if you ask, about them while the Quran is being revealed they will be made plain for you brother cool. <laughs> after the Quran is revealed you can ask this question 
And then it says, why? Before you, a community asked such a questions, and then on that account became disbelievers. <laughs> The second you start asking Islamic questions, you become a disbeliever. So just be Abdul. Bow down, stand up, bow down, stand Never ask questions. Never. Don't ask questions. For Islam made up by a fool. The second you ask those questions, you will see that he is a fool and you will become a disbeliever. Now, let us go to our topic and have a good time. The topic is, is the Quran book of contradiction or perfection? If we go in the Quran, we will see that the Quran set the rules, which Muslims cannot uh, avoid no more. Because the Quran said, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction in it. So the one who made the rule to make us, to guide us to know if the Quran is perfect or not is Allah Akka Muhammad so all what we need to do is just to find one contradiction because you know uh, perfection means perfection either it's perfect or it's not so if we find one contradiction Quran lost any title of perfection but guess what not only we can find one contradiction, the whole Quran is a chain of contradiction. And today we will start with Islam for the Arab or Islam for all mankind. If you go in the Quran, and I'm not going to search for a certain verse, I just will type the word Arab, Arabian. We will find all of those speaking about the word Arabic, look how many, look how many verses. And it's English. So why the Quran speaking about Arab if the Quran or the Arabic language, if the Quran is universal and Islam is universal? Here you will see, it says here, and this is the Muslim translation, remember, this is not my translation, I don't approve a single word of it. The Muslim translation we are showing you as it is. Thus have we revealed to be, to, to be a, a judgment of authority in Arabic. Mm -hmm. okay, why is it going to be in Arabic? Why the judgment had to be in Arabic? You see, the judgment cannot be in different language. It has to be in Arabic. Let us go to different verse. Maybe we can understand better. All right. Chapter 12, verse number 2, it says, we have sent down as an Arabic Quran in order ye may learn wisdom. Okay. But who will get, who will learn this wisdom except those who speak Arabic? You know what I mean? The Quran make it clear now that in order to learn wisdom, we send it to you down in Arabic. How you can learn wisdom without knowing the language? So if you're Indonesian, you will not be able to learn the wisdom. It says it clearly, we send it down in Arabic. You see, it doesn't say we send down the, the Quran in order to learn wisdom. It says we send the Quran in Arabic. All right. Chapter 20, verse number 113. The Quran keeps speaking about sending the Quran as an Arabic book. And it's funny, it says here, explained in details. Explained in detail, but if you ask a Muslim any question, you have no idea how to explain it. The Quran says the book is explained in detail. So why you need all the explanation books? If the book is explained. Oh, okay. Uh, Muhammad Qadir here, our friend Muhammad, is saying the following. Let me show you what Muhammad... This is why actually I want Muslims to call me to show you how Muslims they think and how Muslims respond. It's so funny. Muhammad said, Islam was sent to the Arab first. That's why, but it is for everyone. I mean, you see, uh, uh, Qadir, that is a very stupid statement with my respect to your stupidity, because the Quran says, not me, your book says, that Allah, he sent Islam and sent Muhammad as a warner to Mecca and what is around it. This is the Quran here, chapter 6, verse number 92. It says, 
And this is a book which I have sent down being a blessing, confirming the revelation which come before it. When they the funny, the Muslim, they say that the Bible is corrupted, but the Quran says, <laughs> no, all right? And then it says, so you might, though, might warn the mother of the cities and all around her. This is your Muslim translation. So it was an Arabic book sent for people of Mecca and what is around Mecca. Mecca is a village. The funny thing they translated the mother of the cities. Mecca is a city since when? Like now, yeah, it's big because it's a bit, uh, it's became Las Vegas for uh, for the Muslims. But Mecca is a small, tiny town in the middle of nowhere. And what is around it? Let us see what is around Mecca. Rome, Beijing, Tokyo. I mean, what is around Mecca? So when you say it was sent first to the Arab and then it was became international, that is very funny because he didn't say here we send it to the Arab first and then for everybody. You know, it says we send it to the Arab and around it, that's it. We send you as a warner for those. And here we see the first contradiction. Why? Because the Quran confirmed many, many verses that the book sent down in Arabic. Let me show you something which Muslims, they will bite their tongue, hoping they can take this verse from the Quran. But thank God, the goat who ate the Quran in the time of Aisha did not eat this verse with the rest of the verses about the breastfeeding for adult. The Quran says that Allah never sent a messenger except to speak in the tongue of his people. Do you see it? Chapter 14, verse number 4. We send not a messenger except between two brackets. This is your Muslim translation. Don't blame me for it, you know? Yeah, don't play victim now. Except to teach the language of his people. Why? In order to make things clear to them. Guys, how clear that is? I mean, even this one need explanation. So Allah will not send the messenger to people unless they speak and he speak their language and he is one of them. Bilisani qawmihi, his own people. So you have to be from the people. Not only you speak the language, you have to be from them. The Quran says that, not me. Do you see it? So the language of his own people. What is the language? Is what what language is that? Doesn't matter. Any language, the messenger will not be qualified to come to you unless he is from the people, is speaking the language of the people. Now, are you going to say to me that this is Quran? Is it stupid? I agree. Because this is a clear contradiction. Uh, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how the Muslims, I, I told you they will start biting their tongue when trying to answer. Look what Muhammad Kader. You know, Muhammad Kader, I think the Muslims soon they will start accusing you that I, you are getting paid by me. Uh, because that's what they do when somebody make uh, try to refute Christian prince. The Arab is language of Allah. It is universal. Best, best uh, language, communication for everybody, but you don't speak Arabic. <laughs> 95% of the Muslims don't speak Arabic. A brother and sister, a brother and sister. Arabic is the best language, and it's the best way to communicate. But Isaac and Naik, you don't speak Arabic. Did that? Go and watch the video of Didat. He says, me, myself, I don't speak Arabic. He, he, was, he, he was in the Middle East, and he had a person to translate for what he's saying. Did that himself do not know Arabic? Potato. So how did that is convinced with Islam he was reading translation? But the Quran says it clearly, you cannot understand unless you speak the language. And the Quran say clearly, we send the messenger to his own people, not to Indonesian, not to the German, his own people, whatever they are. So in order for Muhammad to be in, uh, 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 sent to the Indonesian, he have to be an Indonesian who speak the language of Indonesian. But as you know, Indonesian is many ethnic group, which means even that cannot be for the whole country. It have to be one tribe who speak one language. 
How many languages there is in Indonesia? How many languages there is in India? More than 400 languages in India. So the Quran is so clear, getting them busted, showing the contradiction, because in different verses in the Quran, in the yellow pages of Muhammad, it says the following. Muhammad is a messenger for all mankind, or he is a messenger only to the Arab. If we go, we will find different verses. It says the following. And here you see how uh, funny the author of the Quran, and obviously the author of the Quran, he proved to us that Muhammad is the one who made it, and the Quran is not from God. Which is, you know, it would take you two seconds to find out. Chapter 21, verse number 107, it says, We sent thee not, but as a mercy for all creatures. The Muslim, they say, this is a verse about all mankind. First of all, how Muhammad can be a mercy? Is he the one who would judge us in the judgment day? Is the Quran his book, or this is the book of Allah? He is just a delivery person. I mean, this is a stupid statement too. However, the Muslims, they explain this verse saying that this is a proof that Muhammad is a messenger for all creatures. And here you see the word creatures. I mean, what do you mean? Muhammad, a messenger for the cats and rats and pigs? What do you mean all creatures? So, the Quran is so stupid, full of contradiction, to the point it doesn't take you a few seconds to notice that there is something wrong. Remember, speaking the language does not make you make it clear. Why? As an example, now I speak English, if you can call my English English. Uh, but once uh, uh, a friend, uh, someone, he took me to his church. I, was, uh, I just came to the state a long time ago. And after the church, we went out. He wanted to show me downtown. And he told me, are you hungry? I said, sure, yeah. You know, and then he said to me, okay, let us eat hot dogs. I said to myself, this guy want to make me eat dogs. I'm not going to eat dogs, crazy, you know? I don't understand the culture. I speak English. I understand very well what he said. I mean, he said to me, how dogs? I mean, I was saying to myself, this guy, he looked like a nice guy, but now he's going to eat dogs. What's wrong with him? Because I don't understand the, the culture. I was thinking that this guy really is going to feed me hot dogs. Those people, they are cooking dogs, how, how, and they are eating them. So. Speaking the language without knowing the culture will not help. The Quran says Allah He sent Muhammad to Mecca and what is around it. The Quran says if you find contradiction in this book, this book is not from God. The Quran says Muhammad was sent as a mercy for all creatures, including cats and rats. The Quran says that this is a book we send it down in Arabic. So you might understand and we explain it in details. To who? To the Arab. And the funny, uh, like uh, there's verses, there's verses in the Quran. It says, like chapter 16, verse number 103. This verse came down actually because Muhammad used to listen to two Christians, slaves, who did been captured in Iraq. Obviously they are either Chaldean or Assyrian. So Muhammad used to listen to them. And the Arab, they, they, they accuse him that he is copying from them. So look what Muhammad, he says. Supposedly Allah is answering them. We know, we know indeed that they say it is a man that teach him. You go to the interpretation and in the book of Asbab and Nuzul, you will see even he's, he's quoting the names of those who they are teaching Muhammad. And they say here, the tongue of him, they wickedly point to the notably form, while this is Arabic, pure and clear. So Muhammad saying to them, okay, hold on, hold on. The one I'm listening to, yes, I'm talking to them, listening to them, huh? they don't even speak good Arabic, but this is, a, this is a clear Arabic. So Muhammad was learning from those two Christians, and then he make it Arabic, clear Arabic, because he's an Arab. <laughs> because now he is putting his ideas which he learned from them in Arabic and this is how he proved that he is not learning from them but the most funny thing is when he said that this is an Arabic pure language when the Quran, the word Quran itself is not Arabic the word Quran is coming from the Aramaic language 
qarra wa ra'a which mean he say qarra ra'a what he saw you read this is aramaic there is not a single chapter in the quran the word allah is not arabic al la this is not aramaic word jibril mikail Maryam, Musa, which is Moshe, Isa, Harun, Marut, Harut, Injil, Torah, I mean all the Quran, Qalam, the first thing Allah created is Qalam, and he told the Qalam, which means pen, and he told him to write. The Qalam is not an Arab. And the funny, the one who agree that those are not Arabic words are the Muslims. You believe it or not, it is the Muslim who agree those are not Arabic. One of the most funny, stupid statements in the Quran, just to show you when the Muslim, they say to you, oh, we can explain the Quran so easy. Yasin. Okay, Muslims, who are going to explain to us Yasin? Yasin. What is that? What is Ya and what is Sin? They don't know. They have no idea. The only one have the answer is a Christian prince. This is two words. Yeah, which is a word mean God. Sin is the moon God. The moon God is swear by the Quran. Prove me wrong. Even in the Islamic interpretation, they agree that Yasin is a Syriac word. Syriac, you know Syriac? Aramaic. And you will see every single Abdul in the world, he give you different interpretation for the verse. This is how much he cleared the Quran. The only thing the Muslims agree is not to agree about the meaning of any verse. This is the only agreement. Brother and sister, we agree about that to agree, about the meaning of the verse. This is the only argument they have. They agree about not to agree. Look at the interpretation of the verse, Tafsir al Jalalain. Yasin Allah knows best what he meant by those letters. Why? Because this is not Arabic. They have no idea. Allah knows best. And the guy he just told us, Quran is so clear, we can explain it so easy. Allah knows best. Let us change the interpretation. Go to Ibn Abbas as an example. Uh oh, uh oh. Does it say Syriac language? Does it say that this is a Syriac language? So, what is the pure Arabic? This is a pure Arabic. We make it clear. And why Allah using Syriac language for the Arab? Isn't it Allah? He said we will never send the book except in their language, in their tongue, so they might understand. Is Allah short of words? So he's borrowing from the Aramaic? See, even the Muslims, they acknowledge that this is not Arabic. So when the Quran says this is a pure Arabic, it is a joke. It is a stupid. And the funny, it says, in order to make things clear for them, brother. Sin is the moon god. In English today, actually, they say this is sin. Why? Because this is what the pagan used to practice. They worship the god sin. So when those people, they left the paganism and they became a Christian, they say this is sin. Don't do that. This is sin. Why? This is belong to the, 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 the god of the pagan. And your god, Allah praising him. Calling him god sin. Yah is a word mean god. Sin is the name of the god. Let us go to Google. Hold on. Prophet Google, peace upon him. Guys, read with me carefully. Sin is an Akkadian god, Samarian Nana, from the religion, the god of the moon. Sin was the father of the sun god, Shamash, which is, we say in Arabic, we say Shams. So you see? And the Quran used the same word. Why well, you are using the same word to call a star 
when you are supposedly fighting the paganism, he's using the same word, shamash. Do you see it? So what is sin? Sin is the moon god. Yah is a word mean God. Somebody saying to me, truth with the proof, how can you lie? Uh, is that the Christianity? But thank you very much, truth with the proof. Just to show you how intelligent those who follow Muhammad. Look at this comment of this Abdul. I'm telling you, that those, the followers of Muhammad, they are super intelligent. How can you lie? Is that a Christian? You just, you just agree the Christianity doesn't teach lie. So we do not need Muhammad. That's why Muhammad is a fraud. Because it is the Quran who teach to lie. Isn't it the Quran says Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath? You, not only you can lie, you can take a false oath, lying, and Allah will not take you accountable. While Jesus says either you say yea, yea, or nay, nay, and anything else from the devil. Which means you do not need to take an oath as a Christian because always you have to say the truth. Those who lie 24 hours, they say, okay, I'm going to take an oath to save myself from being accused of a liar. But Allah, he said, Allah will not take you, will not call you for account of a thoughtless of your oath. Have you ever heard of a devilish teaching like this? You can take an oath and this oath is not true. Who said that? Allah. You can swear by Allah, lying. And the excuse is, you don't mean it. I don't mean it. I took an oath. I don't mean it. All the, all the false oaths, I don't mean them. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why it's called false oath. Because I don't mean it. So Allah will not take you accountable for an oath you took and you don't mean it. I don't mean to be truthful. I'm going to take an oath. <laughs> so when you, when a Muslim, he try to answer us, and I mean, it is horrible. They are like the same as their prophet. Anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we have a good time. Muslims are upset. As you see the chat of the Muslims, they are calling me names. No problem. All those are blessing for me. We love the Muslims. We don't hate them. And we are not making fun of you. We are making fun of a stupid God who is fake. So, brother and sisters, uh, uh, hold on, I'm talking to uh, Muslims now. Brother and sister, Christian prince, he don't have any legitimate agreement. And whole is the question is refuted. If you read my book, it's called Allah knows best. Explain everything. Ask any question. The answer is Allah knows best. Uh, so, the answer for any question is Allah knows best. Exactly. And this is supposedly how you refute us. Exactly. Who would know better than Allah? Yeah, but what is the answer? Allah knows best. I told you. I give you the answer. What's wrong with you? So the answer for any question, Allah knows best. Exactly. And now you, you, we are refuted. Exactly. So now we cannot, there's nothing to debate about. Exactly. Example. I just know that you get approved. And now you are getting smarter. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah, He is guiding you. Uh, so, uh, 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 Zakir, but can we ask the question? And then you give me the answer, Allah knows best, or we cannot even ask the question. Christopher, I'm going to do the Quran. Chapter 5, verse 101. It said, ask not question. What? Ask not question. So, how you say the answers for all the questions in your book, but we cannot ask the questions? Christian friends, you are not only stupid, you are ignorant. Allah, he forbid you from asking questions that make sense. A question makes sense, you are welcome. Okay. Who is Yasin? That a question that make sense. Okay. Uh, uh, why we beat our wife? That will make her love us? That a question that make sense. Uh, Okay, so those questions we can... Okay, why Allah don't remember which one he created first, the trees or the mountains in different verses? That's a question that doesn't make sense. So what is the question makes sense, Zakir Naik? Other example, 
Ask me a question with make sense. Can I eat ice cream with my fancy? Oh, that is a question that makes sense. Exactly. There's the question are legitimate and there's the question are not legitimate. Hmm. Those are the questions. Which makes sense. If I can I eat ice cream with my fancy. There's another example about a question makes sense. There's many questions. Add an example. Ask me question. But you just said, ask not questions because this is haram. Exactly. So you can ask a question as long as you don't ask it. Put it in the basket. Okay. I mean, we have to agree. I mean, we have to admit we are defeated. So ask not questions about things made to play for you because it may cause you trouble, brother. Yeah. But if you ask, about them while the Quran is being revealed they will be made plain for you brother cool. <laughs> after the Quran is revealed you can ask this question and then it says why before you a community asked such a questions and then on that account became disbelievers <laughs> The second you start asking Islamic questions, you become a disbeliever. So just be Abdul. Bow down, stand up, bow down, stand Never ask questions. Never. Don't ask questions. For Islam made up by a fool. The second you ask those questions, you will see that he is a fool and you will become a disbeliever. Again, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we see you soon again. Tell your friends how to find us. Tell your friends how they can watch my videos. And if you see my video in different channels, subscribe to that channel. In the same, I ask please the Christians who they are downloading my videos to post a link for Patreon, Facebook, uh, under, my, uh, under the video they post, so people they can go and subscribe to my channel which means at the end of the day still they will go to your channel to watch the full video because I don't keep them in my channel however to be in the live streaming it doesn't hurt you to have them where the video is coming from all right so thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you we pray for you Christians Muslims Hindus Buddhas atheists everybody to have a good life to see the truth and the truth will set you free the Lord he said I am the door the Lord he said I am the truth the Lord he said I am the light I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am the beginning I am the end and no one can go to the Father but by me so we invite you all to be saved and to enjoy the love of Christ and this is why we love Muslims because the Christ changed us Otherwise, we should do the opposite. But because of Christ, he changed us. He changed the evil inside us. We became a loving people. The Lord, he says, love your enemy. Pray for those who curse you. And this is why we pray for Muslims to say the truth. And being loving doesn't mean giving hugs. Being loving is about saying the truth as it is without being practically correct. And the second you say the truth, the devil and his kingdom, they will fight you. But the Lord, he said, the book said, if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Who could be against me? Do your best. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Just go to Patreon and check when I'm going to post. And you will find out when it's going to be. God bless. Thank you.
Thank you.